You seem very distracted, Kay. What are you thinking? Nothing. You're thinking about the guy Diana mentioned, aren't you? Thinking about the one called Nameless. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. If you think about it, the guy is not so cruel. This simply shows how much he loves Isulde. I believe anyone who is in his place would do the same thing. What is unforgivable is how nests use the memory of one of their victims to use Nameless. That's what bothers me. What do you mean? Nests never manipulated their subjects like this. They never made any arrangements. But they did with Nameless. So that he could work freely for them. Hmm. Now that you think about it, Diana seems very frightened about Nameless. It makes you wonder what kind of skills he has for even Diana and Nests to be afraid of him. Someone who has my DNA, as well as Kyo Kusanaki's, is definitely a dangerous foe. But I don't care who gets in my path. Kula, I will save you. I heard that. <laughs> uh, um, I, oh, uh, uh, shut up. Damn it! I was so stupid! I should have guessed this would happen! I was so blind to believe that Nameless would try to live a normal life or even try to kill himself half the nest was completely destroyed! I was so mad I predicted this! Hey! Diana! What? what Max? What do you want? What are you doing on here all by yourself? I... I just needed to be alone for a moment before departing. I noticed that, but since we're here, there's uh, something I need to ask you. Damn it, Max! I'm tired of answering questions! It wears me out! But, uh, this is something I've been wanting to ask for a very long time, and I think now's the perfect chance. It's about Zero. N not the clone Zero, the real one. Lord Zero? What do you want to know about Lord Zero? Well, ever since I was turned into an android, I've heard a lot of tales about him. He seemed to be the most respected agent of the entire organization, as well as one of the strongest. Still, when we faced him in KOF 2001, his fighting level seemed equal to that of the Clone Zero. And the only thing that I was curious about was, well, when we fought him, he seemed to avoid doing harm to Kadash and Whip. In other words, he was hesitating. Well, I was always curious about that. If I were you, I would never insult that man again, you hear? Lord Zero was the most honorable man I've ever met. A fighter with an unlike talent and skill. I won't allow anyone to insult him. What? All I did was give my observation, alright? I didn't insult the guy! Don't you ever compare its fighting level with the Clone Zero. Lord Zero is a million times stronger than the Fake Zero. All the clones hate the original, and since Lord Zero was so devoted and loyal to Nests, his clone did the exact opposite and created the Zero Cannon so he could overthrow Nests and conquer the world himself. Lord Zero will never use such cowardly attacks. I see, I see. You know what the way you're talking, it seems like you know a fair deal about him. So what do you know? Why the heck you want to know? I just got very curious, that's all. I mean, what's the harm in telling me? You know I'm not gonna stop bugging you until you tell me. <sighs> All right, I'll tell you, but you must promise me something first. You must promise that you won't tell anyone about this, not even to Kay and Whip. Um, 
but uh, why? Promise. Okay, okay. I promise. I don't know why, but I promise. Lord Zero did not use his full strength against you guys during the tournament. If he did, you guys would be gravely injured when you faced Ignis. But personally, he was prepared for death when he planned to face K. You mean to tell me that he was practically committing suicide? But... why? I'll tell you about the last time I saw Lord Zero. Lord Zero, I received word that K Dash and his team defeated our team. If they win the next match, they shall win the tournament. Very well then. I must prepare to meet the winners of the next round. Pass on a message to our other agents that even if K and his friends do not win the next round, I want him aboard my vessel. Yes, sir. But you should know that the Nest President ordered our agents to let all the KOF participants aboard. You were there yourself when the order was given. Yes, I was. But my main concern is fighting K-Dash and Whip. I have forbidden Chrysalid, Ron, and even my Lion from interfering in this fight. They will only act as strikers. Sir, why are you so obsessed with fighting Kay and his sister? What is so big about him? You seem a bit jumpy, Diana. I... I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm a little concerned. Leaving Kula and Foxy with a genetic monster like K49s. I know that we added Angel to the team to even the odds. But I still feel so uneasy. That's understandable. Listen, as soon as the battle starts, try to find your way to Foxy and Kula. I cannot guarantee that I will be victorious. What? Sir, how can you say that? You are the best fighter I've ever met. I cannot see you losing. It is my penance. Penance? I'm sorry, my lord, but I do not comprehend. I've never told my story to anyone. You'll be the first. In my youth, I was a well-known fighter. With a beautiful wife and two kids. Unfortunately, I made more enemies than Terry Bogart, Geese Howard, and Ryo Sakazaki. One of those enemies took the life of my beloved wife right in front of my children. The pain I felt back then was unbearable. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat. My mind was completely dominated by rage. One day, an old man came to me. He was the president of Ness. He offered me the location and the power to have my revenge. In return, he would ask for me two favors. Like a fool, I accepted the offer. I had my vengeance. But the pain I would feel next would be much, much worse. The two favors that were asked of me. The first, the Nest President wanted me to become one of his agents. The second, 
My two children were to be used as weapons for Ness. My word! Then, wait a minute. Does that mean that your two children are... Yes. Whip. And K-Dash. <gasps> Good lord! 